Detective Pikachu returns. Uh, I guess it's a review. And I'm what you might call a great detective. When Detective Pikachu hit the 3DS in 2016, we'd never seen anything quite like it in the vast collection of Pokemon games. We're not going to watch it's the whole casual, thing. We're just going to skim through. Solve, but it was cute, colorful, and most That's importantly, cool. different. And yet, now that Detective Pikachu and his tiny herringbone hat have returned with a cup of coffee in hand, it doesn't feel as exciting. Amen to that. In fact, it feels like one step backwards. It's still a pleasing, colorful, sweet adventure, and the story comes to a mostly satisfying conclusion of the Detective Pikachu saga. But okay. its greatest mystery is what went on behind the scenes that resulted in some of these baffling decisions in the story and mechanics. Yeah, I'm the great detective. Pika Pika to you too, little hero. You don't need to have played the first Detective Pikachu or seen the movie for Oh that. yeah, nobody can hear- nobody Detective understands him. Returns. Pikachu recaps the first game in the very beginning, and soon you're thrown into a mystery where Pokemon are once again acting strangely, and a mystery is brewing in the background as you solve other cases. Plus, there's the matter of figuring out- Apollini. Is that partner, a real Pokemon? Pikachu's partner, Harry. Unlike in the first game, where R is revealed early on, Returns introduces a lot of points without specifically revealing the purpose, and then takes its time explaining their meanings. For example, the story begins with a standard missing jewel case, but then that precious gem becomes central to the larger events, and its true purpose remains unknown for most of the roughly 17 hour runtime. 17 hours? Though there are a lot wow. of moving parts, I look like Snorlax. Thanks. to figure out their places in the plot, and it's still satisfying to watch them come together. It's a bit predictable, and you'll very likely figure it out way before the characters do. What? How is that even possible? Detective Pikachu Returns does manage to pull off a few surprises by subverting some obvious mystery tropes around butlers perpetrating crimes and alliances shift unexpectedly. But it's still a story where the most obvious suspect in each case is likely the culprit, and the ending you expect is what you typically get. Check it out! Looks good, huh? Detective Pikachu was a simple game, but Returns is somehow easier. That makes a lot of the moment-to-moment -moment play feel long-winded and a bit frustrating if you're more than 10 years old. Gone are many of the more complicated- Yeah, well, they're trying to reach out to a younger audience, yeah. Previously, you had to sometimes approach an investigation by picking apart a conversation and highlighting a word, or having to decipher symbols that even Pikachu won't reveal the answer to. Gathering clues in returns is even more straightforward. It's easy to get tripped up if you're not paying close attention to conversations. No, this is on the, the switch. Part, the clues are presented and then explained almost immediately. Is there a diagram that shows a person lifting a Pokemon up to unlock a door? You'll probably have to lift up Pikachu to unlock a door. Did a bunch of Pokemon- I mean, yeah, that's obvious. After eating breakfast? That's probably important to remember. And if you don't get it correct the first time, you aren't punished for your mistake. You just try again until you get it right. Yeah, it's trying. It's trying to reach out to a younger audience. No, so, uh, I mean Detective Goodman. <laughs> Returns doesn't really have puzzles, but rather a series of testimonies you have to collect and keep track of. Pikachu, Tim, and the rest of the characters need every piece of evidence to have realizations. So, like the last game, you're forced to break down your entire thought process in the notebook. Yeah. Granted, you probably won't need to look at your notes much, since most answers to questions are more obvious than Tim or Pikachu realize. But you have to hop into the menu after you found every clue, and Pikachu says it's time to start deducing. It's okay. also just not as fun to look at as the I don't have a board, switch which had Tim's line drawings and looked like a yellow lined piece of paper. This just looks like a generic video game menu covered in tiny Polaroids. The get out of jail free card is that all of this simplicity is fine if you're making a game for younger players. People yeah. who are looking for a laid back time also might not mind it, but right. at the same time returns is kind of a dark story. The first one didn't shy away from some mature storytelling moments, and it's not outside the Pokemon franchise's purview to feature Pokemon getting kidnapped, trafficked, or tortured, and Returns goes to some unexpected places. Without revealing what happens in the second half, it's surprising, considering that this is a game ostensibly for children. Oh wow. It doesn't handle a lot of its themes delicately either, but then again, Pokemon isn't exactly known for its nuance. It just makes you wonder, who is this for? Why would they make the gameplay simpler and the story darker? Because they can. This is just a <laughs> Another one of the biggest disappointments with Detective Pikachu Returns is its art style. 
Pokemon games aren't renowned like the movie Seven. Intricate, yeah. <laughs> especially over the past Detective couple Pikachu of appears but in looks more like a Seven. Yes, game than the original did, and that actually was a 3D. That was a great movie. It's especially what's in the ball. Facial animations. Each character has maybe two expressions, <laughs> and they're both neutral, which could be a problem when tragic or dire events are happening. It's tough to get invested in the actual high stakes of the story when Tim just looks slightly shocked. But you're likely not playing a Pokemon game for dazzling sights and hey, you're playing it for the Pokemon. This is still an improvement over the first one in other ways. The animations are even detailed when they yeah. need to be. Pikachu, for example, sometimes gets to ride around on the backs of other Pokemon to solve puzzles That's and cool. to get through previously cut off areas. And the way that the artists chose to integrate him is quite charming. Like with the first one, the Pokemon are why you play, and there are so many to discover here. And because the Pokemon series has always been about how Pokemon are special in their own unique ways, each one has their own abilities to lend. Growlithe, which is one of the first you get to hang out with, has a keen sense of smell that lets her find objects or other Pokemon. While Darmanitan can break down rocks and other barriers while you ride around in the fluff on his head. Pikachu is the most special of all, of course. That hasn't changed. Here I am! You called for me? The story is about him, after all, so it only makes sense that he gets the best scenes and dialogue. It's a joy whenever he gets one of his bolts of brilliance and has to strike a pose, or when he gets snarky. Ah, a bolt of brilliance! Even with just a couple short conversations, Had the Detective magic Pikachu returns flying and out of the fountain. to flesh out its world at least a little bit by imbuing random Pokemon with personality and a desire for connection or happiness. The human characters, sadly, don't get the same treatment. Tim is as dull as ever, just following Pikachu around and commenting on events with a straight face. We meet new characters like Rachel, who tags along on many of your investigations, but she too mostly just follows you around and doesn't contribute much else at all. Detective Pikachu Returns is, overall though, a Pokemon game, so maybe yeah. it's fine that the humans are no more animated than a block of wood. And it <laughs> the tenets of the series. It's about friendship, community, generosity, and making the world better for Pokemon, as well as humans. I like how he described it's that. Trite, but sometimes that's nice to see. This is it. Let's take care of business. <laughs> The mystery story of Detective Pikachu returns. I'm gonna watch this whole thing, I think. And unexpectedly good. dark choices to get to its underwhelmingly predictable conclusion. And as a result, it's unclear who this is all for. Is it for young kids who will find the simplified puzzles about right, or adults who grew up with Pikachu? It's still a cute animated adventure with Maybe they made it for both. Pokemon to meet and a mystery to solve, but the mystery solving is so basic, it might as well not be there at all. I gave him a six. It's okay. For more, check out our review. They said it's Pokemon mid, Star guys. Pilot, the Teal Mask DLC and Sea of Stars. They said and it's for mid. Else gaming and more, stick with IGN. IGN oh, called Detective Pikachu returns mid. See you around. I mean, it does. It looks like okay. I mean, I'm not gonna say it looks fantastic. It doesn't look amazing. It looks okay. So I can, I kind of agree <laughs> with them actually having a hands-on. It's probably just okay.